ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ನೌ ಅಸ್ ಅವತು ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಏನ್ಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಜಂಗಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಎನ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜಂಗಲ್ ಆನಿಮಲ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ದಮ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ರಿಶೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗುರುಕುಲ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಕಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿವಲೆಂಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಕೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಎನಿ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಕೆಲಾಮಿಟಿ ಕೆನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ವಿಶ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಿ ಪ್ರೇ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಸಿಕ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಫರಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಇನಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಫ್ ಇನಫ್ ಟು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಸಹ ನೌ ಅವತು ಸಹ ನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಭೂನ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಧಾತು ವಟ್ ಭುಂಜ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಅ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಫೇರ್ ಅಯ್ಯೋ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಆಸ್ ಇವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನಫ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ ನಾವು ನೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಜಾಯ್ ಆಫ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ ಜಾಯ್ ಆಫ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ದ ಟೀಚರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ವೆನ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ವೇ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಅಟೆಂಟಿವ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಫುಲ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫೈಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಡೌಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಹಿ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ಸ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಲ್ ಐ ಪುಟ್ ಅ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ತೆಲುಗು ಮೂವಿ ಆರ್ ಅ ತಮಿಳ್ ಮೂವಿ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಸೊ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಐ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಹವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರ್ವಾವಹಿ ನೋ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ನೋ ಪೇನ್ ನೋ ಗೇನ್ ಅನ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಎಫರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಟರ್ಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರೈಂಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿ ಕರೇಜ್ ಟು ಕೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರ್ವಾವಹಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಇಟ್ and how do we do that your mind has to be very concentrated your mind goes this way that way because distracted by the senses other thoughts other emotions then you are not going to give your 100% so viryam karva vahi will not happen that's why swami vivekananda said time is concentration the better concentration the lesser time you require to do things so concentration is the key so therefore when we have concentration why because we are not chatting too much you not eating more than what we require not sleeping unnecessarily not gossiping around but focusing on our subject our studies keeping ourselves extremely concentrated then we will be able to grasp this knowledge therefore viryam karvavahi and tejasvi brightened our intellect should become brightened like when you switch on the light the knowledge of all the objects that exist in the house becomes yours where is the table where is the chair where is the book where is the water you just come to know naturally simultaneously you come to know the moment you switch on the light you don't come to know one by one the moment you switch on the light everything appears to you simultaneously that is idea of tejasvi everything all knowledge gets known to you simultaneously mundaka upanishad kasminnu bhagavo vignyate sarvam idam vignyatam bhavati shaunaka asks angirasa what should i know knowing which everything is known that is where the first time he says dwe vidye veditavye learn two kinds of education
it's still in our control how because whatever we learn we shouldn't forget we should remember it how will you remember it after shravanam you have to do mananam that is why afternoon study circles and nididhyasanam evening swadhyaya so try to look, meditate on this practice then only it will be adhitamastu it will remain under our cells under our control otherwise it will go out and very very important i tell our students this is very important mahavid vishavahe let us not be a cause of trouble to each other how can i be trouble to you i don't care whether you will understand or not i go on like most teachers do i have to finish my syllabus whether you understand don't understand none of my concern my time is ticking i have to finish especially before exams you should see all the piled up syllabus is covered within no time whether students are awake alive doesn't matter just keep keep repeating and finishing so your teacher is a trouble to the students or when a student asks a question sir i'm going to say hey sunne iru time waste madabaradu is not encouraging questioning not encouraging discussion not encouraging curiosity investigation then that teacher is not good teacher some are dull students some are intelligent so even encouraging the dull students otherwise mostly teachers cater to the intelligent ones that 10% of the class the remaining 90% are what is happening we don't know anyway we are cursed to sit we'll sit so ma with vishavahe teacher should be well prepared well versed more importantly teacher should be knowledgeable not a borrowed knowledge from his experience he should speak borrowed knowledge won't last similarly the student should not be a trouble to the teacher why he should do his projects assignments classroom work home prep homework all this sincerely he should not eat too much as we say five lakshanas of vidyarthi pancha lakshanam swalpa hari is one five lakshanam sadhya you know kaka chesta bako dhyanam shwana nidra tathai vacha swalpa ahari grihatyagi vidyarthi pancha lakshanam kaka chesta the perseverance of a crow how crow chases a kite which has a mouse in its beak these crows will chase till that kite drops the mouse and goes these crows won't live like that the students perseverance to know things should chase the teacher everywhere except bathroom and toilets tell me sir otherwise i won't leave you if i can't sleep peacefully i won't let you sleep peacefully that should be a student's pursuit of knowledge kaka chesta like the crows they should pursue bako dhyanam bako dhyanam you know baka pakshi it stands on one leg the crane you see in a pond or lake somewhere in the villages you will see it stays stands on one leg without moving an inch for hours it stands like a statue the moment a fish passes or a crab passes or a frog passes picks it up doesn't miss that that kind of a one pointed mind steady concentration is the requirement of a student when he wants to learn looking this side that side most of the students are present in the bodies in the classroom minds are somewhere in the playground in yesterday in tomorrow but today and now the mind is not there that is not bako dhyanam so bako dhyanam shwana nidra sleeping like a dog it means quick to sleep and quick to wake up see a dog if you deep sleep it will be snoring next moment a sound comes wide awake and next moment it gets a little rest deep asleep how does the dog do it's a great uh, inspiration but shwana nidra student should be like that quick to sleep quick to wake up that's why i asked how many slept at 9 how many slept at 9:30 how many at 10 how many beyond or how many started sleeping at 3 o'clock only shwana nidra quick to sleep this is a time to sleep sleep time to wake up wake up without any drag first teachers have to sing suprabhatam to student then some students will sing suprabhatam to swami that is not the way to wake up wake up when you have to wake up shwana nidra taicha swalpa hari eat less eat only as much as is required overeating will lead to sleep lethargy all the oxygen that has to go to brain will go to the stomach as so you all are flat shavasana that is not the way and swalpa hari grihatyagi he has to leave his home and live where if he leaves his home guru grihavasa must go and stay with a guru in the gurukula that is why this gurukula system so grihatyagi because parents cannot their moha will not allow them to take the right decision for their children a guru will take the right decision because he is nirmoha nirma nirahankara he is 
avrujano akamahito akamahato is the definition of guru avrujana without any sin akamahata without any desires his only desire is you should do well beyond that he doesn't desire therefore a guru only is the right person for students to put them in a gurukula so these five thing kakachesta bakodhyanam shwana nidra swalpa ari gurhatyagi this is vidyarthi's lakshana somebody wants to be a good vidyarthi and not caught vish, cause vishada to the teacher these five things have to be practiced by that vidyarthi quick to get up quick to sleep no lazing around no wasting time eat appropriately not more not less and don't stay at the comforts of your home because your parents are too attached like dhritarashtras they can't take right decisions for you a guru has to take the right decision krishna will take the right decision so that was the idea of gurukula why i am saying all these things because this is also should be a part of your knowledge now as paravidya aspirants kata upanishad is a part of krishna yajurveda there are four vedas you know rigveda yajurveda samaveda and atharvana veda out of it yajurveda is one of the very elaborate vedas very beautiful veda rigveda is largely consisting of vedic mantras really used for prayers and rituals but yajurveda i will talk about vedas and upanishads as we go by let us start the class so kata upanishad is a part of the krishna yajurveda yajurveda has two parts krishna yajurveda and shukla yajurveda so it, it is a part of the krishna yajurveda and yajurveda was taught by vedavyasa who composed all the vedas who classified them and he taught it to vaishampayana and vaishampayana further taught to his disciples and that's how various branches have come about we'll learn about these details as we go by and this comes as a part of the kathaka part of the yajurveda therefore it is called kata upanishad and it is believed that the muni that he wrote this kata upanishad was katha muni due to him kathaka is this khanda in the yajurveda and from there this upanishad comes what is an upanishad it is the highest philosophy of the vedas so vedas have many things in them the philosophical part of the vedas is upanishad there is also the ritualistic part of the vedas which is called karma kanda and upanishads are called the gyana kanda these are not ritual part these are the spiritual part of the vedas one is to know how to do and this one is to know why to do so the why part of the vedas are this what how where when all that is the karma kanda of the vedas why it should be done is the gyana kanda and kata upanishads out of 10 upanishads kata upanishad is third in the sequence after isha vasya upanishad and keno upanishad but we have taken this first because i love it very much second thing it will really set our thinking right with this right thinking if you pick up other upanishads we will enjoy them too very very much so i will give you a brief today an overview of the entire upanishad we will go shloka by shloka by from tomorrow so in the very first chapter it has got two chapters and each chapter has three vallis means total of six sections so two chapters two adhyayas and six vallis in three in each adhyaya around 119 verses are there in total across the six chapters of kata upanishad the story line all upanishads have a very beautiful question answer methodology of teaching today scientific people say educationists say the best way to teach and understand subject is encourage question answers encourage role plays encourage case studies discussions debates don't just do one way teaching kata upanishad is all about discussion debate arguments with the teacher and there are characters in this story so we always knew the methodology of teaching in our system of education gurukula unfortunately somebody else is coming from outside and telling us this is what you should do first they told us you should not do this we stopped doing now they are coming and telling us you know what you should do this and we think thank you for enlightening us our foolishness so in the first chapter there is a saint sage by name vajashrava and is he is from is called also called audalaki aruni because he is from the lineage of uddalaka and aruni so like we have many name your name of father four fathers the village the district panchayat everything like that so vajashravas is the father of nachiketa 
Nachiketa is a young boy of this father Nagesrava and he is observing his father do something what he is performing a ritual called Vishwajit Yaga in Vishwajit Yaga the idea is you have to give away everything that you have for what so that you will attain heaven the concept of heaven was very strong in the ancient times even today we say somebody dies we say he is a swargiya we don't say narkiya even though he is deserves to go to narka we always say swargiya because idea that after death we go to swarga and enjoy whatever we enjoy there we, nobody knows nobody comes and tell us tells us but our upanishads and vedas have this idea that there is a world that exists beyond this which is called swarga we will discuss all these concept later so vajashrava wanted to go to a swarga after his death where he will enjoy for a very long time and for that he is performing a ritual because he has been told if you do this ritual swarga guaranteed for you and what is the ritual you have to give away everything that you own so what did he do he performed the ritual called all the other brahmins and guests and started giving away what old cows useless cows because in those days cattle was the wealth no stocks bonds shares properties cattle so he has to give cattle away and what kind of cows is giving very old this those cannot yield milk cannot even eat grass or drink water so what about the good cows did he not have good cows he had one he transferred all the property to his wife son and everybody and kept only the bad property in his name which he wanted to donate and say i have given away everything that i ever owned shraddhaya deya ma shraddhaya adeyam shesthai tri upanishad give with sincerity if you don't have sincerity better not give but he is insincere fellow this rajeshrava for name sake he is performing this ritual you think he will attain heaven obviously not you go outside the mandir and you are doing dana one big sage ji is doing dana everybody is giving away 5 500 rupees notes all are fake notes is it going to be of any use to the beggars that is what he was doing giving away cows which are useless i have to feed them unnecessary now i'll give it to them and poor these brahmins who have come to receive being very polite and well mannered they are not even able to talk back sir what are you giving this but this fellow nachiketa is very observant he watched his father and questioned him what are you doing father you are giving away old cows useless cows this is not the way dana should be done father ignored him second time again father listen to me like children keep pestering till the parents pay attention father you are doing this is not right third time father you are doing that father got irritated like how our parents get irritated and what they say hogi oh, sai appa go die <laughs> go to hell so father also said i give you to god of death go means basically go die because you are bothering me too much and then this fellow gives a small discourse to father about how he is wrong thousands have lived before him thousands will live after he'll die like a corn like a field of corn which is there today tomorrow it will be harvested like that your life will be harvested don't do things like this he tells his father and goes away to yama and where there waits for 3 days in front of yama's house because yama is busy so no time very super worked overworked so office people of yama say are who is what do you want he says i have come to meet yama oh yama is on a tour is very busy you have to wait i will wait do you want any food water coffee tea no nothing i just want to wait and see yama because your mind is so occupied by that thought when you are very happy you can't eat when you are too sad you can't eat so he is like that he is determined to know meet yama i can't eat enjoy anything before meeting yama so after 3 days this yama finishes whatever bangalore karnataka tour kerala andhra pradesh and comes back he says what happened what is what is the pending case he says sir all that later one fellow is waiting there young boy from 3 days he's been waiting looks like he's a good brahmin because he's wearing the sacred thread and all that and he doesn't tell us why he has come we asked him to have water food tea nothing he wants he was just waiting for you oh yama feels is he a brahmin oh yes he's a brahmin oh brahmins we should not make them wait like this but brahmins are important guests vips in the old times because they were those who kept up the tradition spiritual traditions and we used to say acharya devo bhava because they never used to charge for teaching anything therefore they were equivalent to gods because gods don't charge for oxygen water earth air nothing they charge they give us free the sunlight is free water is free air is free government charges that is a different story 
but they don't charge likewise gurus did not charge so brahmins did not charge people to give education so brahmins were considered equal to god even vaidyo narayana haris we say because doctors were considered equal to god because they never charged for their services so uh, brahmin boy has come i must not make him wait so first yama even though he is a lord of death he carries some water the first thing is to the neer kudtira first thing we ask even today that's our tradition because the person might be thirsty come a long distance walking so to put him to rest we give water so yama carried some water gave it to this brahmin boy and said you have been waiting for 3 days i'm very sorry i was very busy but against that i'll give you three boons ask and this boy is very smart he first boon he asks is when i go back to my father my father should be happy with me not angry like last time it means what he is already taken for granted that he'll go back to his father because he's dead now the boy is dead so he has two boons in one when i go back to my father it means i am not going to stay here with you emma you cannot control me you have to let go of me and when i go back home my father should be happy with me again he should not curse me go back to yama and he should be peaceful all right granted yama two boons in one he granted second thing my father and all others want to attain this heaven but they are doing it all wrong teach me the right way to perform a yagna so that they can go to heaven he said all right i'll grant you that he says and nachiketa repeats it verbatim that time there were no notebooks and uh, gadgets to record or write you have to remember that's why vedas were called shruti you have to hear them and repeat them so when yama taught this agni this yagna nachiketa repeated it verbatim yama became so pleased you're such an intelligent boy grace marks what is the grace marks this agni will be known by your name nachiketa agni it will be called anybody who perform this agni thrice is called a tri nachiketa and such a person will attain the heaven that you have been asking for all right second boon done he is very happy third boon you ask now he says i have known that there is a doubt about whether it exists or does not exist asatoma sadgamaya which is sat which is asat i have a doubt i believe lot of the people lot of people have these doubts whether finally something exists or not do we exist after death how do we exist i have heard about that but i don't know whether it is true or not and everybody is confused about it nobody nobody tells me can you teach me and he says why do you want to know you are a young boy it is like you are kicking on my stomach if i tell you the truth of brahma vidya then you will not be caught in my yama pasha you escape me only so you are basically trying to tell me how to escape you then yama has no job because everybody who becomes brahma gyani gets away from the yama's grip so he says no no why do you want to know you play with the toys i'll give you gold i'll give you wealth i'll give you lot of lands i'll give you putra potra potran vinishwa ask me son grandsons or ask me for gold elephants horses cattle as long as you want to live you ask me i'll allow you to live that long even if something is not there on earth which are the pleasures of heaven which only is at to be attained after death even those i will come and bring and give it to you and if i missed out something and you have something make a list tell me i will grant you all those but don't ask me about this truth the nachiketa is no less he says i have observed see is an observant fellow he observed his father doing wrong questioned him came here now he is observed yama's logic and said i have observed i have my own doubts about all that you are saying because i have observed lot of people who had this they also ultimately went and died only nobody escaped you they all had gold wealth women wine whatever pleasures of the world and beyond yet at the end everybody met the same end that was not different somebody would enjoy it for 100 years somebody for 40 years somebody for 400 years at the end everybody came to the same spot 6 feet under the earth i don't want to be that therefore keep all this to yourself thank you for all these offers tavai vah tavanutya geete keep it but tell me the truth that's all i want to know don't let let's not waste too much time please tell me already 3 days over waiting for you yama becomes very impressed with this nachiketa he says look at this boy i tempted with him iphone 11 i tempted him with bikes and cars i tempted tempted with him with holidays and foreign tours this boy is not interested in anything 
he wants to know the truth so he says he feels very happy i have found somebody who really wants to know the truth because most of the people when i met when do when does yama meet them at the time of death they only beg yama please say me allow me to live another 10 years one year five years something they negotiate with yama but here is boy he doesn't care he says tell me the truth so that is nachiketa what is this truth that is the katopanishad and over the next five th- chapters he explains how to attain this truth what is the nature of the truth and what is the discrimination that you must use to attain the truth and what happens to you so such a person becomes happy always peaceful always and how does it happen all that is in the next five chapter 1 is he says om om is our so you can repeat if you want om ushanah vai vajashravasah sarvavedasam dadau tasya nachiketa nam putra asa in the line of vajashrava uddalaka angirasa uddalaka uddalaka aruni the father who is there he is performing a yagnyam and as part of the yagnyam sarvavedasam dadau he has to give away everything that he possesses and so to such a person there was a boy a son by name nachiketa nachiketa nama putra asa so this is a once upon a time story ushan havai so once upon a time this is what was happening this much you understand now second shloka which says tam ha kumaram santam dakshinasu niyamanasu shraddha vivesha so amanyata all these dakshina which were being given away just now we discussed this boy kumaram by it means he was not a yuvaka he was a kumara he was still a teenager or less pre teens therefore he is a kumara and what he is doing he is watching the dakshinas being given away to all the people who are taking away niyamanas who they are taking away the dakshina which has been given by the father and what is he watching which shraddha he has lot of shraddha in him he wants things to be done as it is to be done so he is overcome by shraddha avivesha overcome by shraddha he so sa amanyata he went and spoke to his father so when he watched his father giving away the donations and people taking them he observed and he was overcome with this feeling of shraddha it's not right and because of that he came and spoke to his father what did he speak he told the father what kind of donations you are making observe pito daka jagdhatrana dugdhad doha nirindriyah ananda nama te lokah तान स गति तादत पीतो दका दोज हुए फिनिश ड्रिंकिंग ऑल द वाटर इट मीन्स दे कांट ड्रिंक ए वाटर एनी मोर ओल्ड जगत तृणा ऑल द ग्रास दे हैव फिनिश ईटिंग दे कांट डाइजेस्ट एनी मोर ग्रास दुग्ध दोहा ऑल द मिल्क हैज बीन मिल्च आउट ऑफ दम नो मोर मिल्क इज लेफ्ट निरिंद्रिया ऑल देर इंद्रिया आईज इयर्स लेग्स हैंड्स नथिंग इज proper nir indriya become weak such kind of cows he is donating to the brahmins who have come to attend the yagnyam this is what he told his father straight forward he didn't sugar coat it <clears throat> he straight away put the truth as it is call x and x you are giving away poor old cows who can't eat which can't mil- give milk which can't even walk you are giving away if you do this what happens he also tells his father look at the audacity of this little boy tells his father ananda namate loka ananda not happy that loka which is called not happy tan sa gachati tadata they go who give these kinds of donations you make such donations you will go to unhappy world because so to say you are performing this yagna to go to a happy heaven but this kind of donations will lead you to a unhappy means hell 
He didn't say hell, but then he said unhappy loka. So it's opposite of happy. Therefore, you will go to hell. The fourth one. Now, saho vacha pitaram tata kasmai mam dasya siti dvitiyam tritiyam tam ho vacha. So he told his father, Father, you are supposed to give away everything that you own. You own me. I am your son. So he went to father Pitaram and Sahovacha told him, Tata, therefore, Kasmai Mam Dasya Siti. Whom are you going to give me to? Because you are supposed to donate everything that is yours and that is dear to you. Whom are you going to give to give me to? Dvitiyam, Tritiyam Hovacha. Second time he asked, third time he asked. Father was listening, but ignored. He was busy getting rid of his old cows. So he heard him talk, but he ignored first time. Second time, third time also he heard, and then he got angry and said, What? Mrityave Twadadamiti. I shall give you to death. Means go and die. So our fellow should have left. If another child was there, would have got angry and left in a huff. But he thought, why did my father speak like this? He is not understanding what he is doing. He is still concerned about his father's welfare. So in fifth shluka, he thinks to himself, Bahuna memi prathamo, Bahuna memi madhyamaha, Kim fidyamasya kartavyam, Yanmayadya Karishati. He is thinking to himself, Bahuna Memi Pratamo. I am the best amongst many people. I am very intelligent and things like that. Bahuna Memi Madhyama. I am a mediocre amongst others. I am not a good singer, not a good sportsman, let us say. I am not the best in everything. Kim Swid, what way, Asya Kartavyam, what this person, that this act of giving me to. Uh, yama, how is it going to help Yama? Yat yan maya adhya karishyati. If this body of Nachiketa or myself is being given to Yama, what purpose will it serve for Yama? He is thinking to himself. See his sincerity. He should not be a bad donation. That is his worry. His father is giving away old cows, useless cows. Therefore, he objected. Now, father said, I give you only. So, Kim Swit Yamasya, for Yama, what purpose will I serve? Because I am a mediocre fellow in many ways. I am good in only some ways. So, I am not the best donation to be given to Yama. And how what use will I be to Yama? Because I am not the best in everything. He is thinking within himself. How sincere this fellow is. I should not be a bad donation to Yama. Anupasya Yatha Purve Pratipasya tatha pare sasyam iva matyaha pachyate sasyam iva jayate punaha. Now he is talking to his father. That father, think about all those who lived before us. Anupasya yatha purve. Watch, observe, because he is a very observant fellow. His father is not an observant one. So he's telling father, think about all those who have lived before us, our ancestors. Also think about that, those who live after us also. Think about both. And also think about those who are living with us, our contemporaries who came after our ancestors are with us. Means think properly, he is telling his father. What should he think? Sasyamiva Martya Pachyate Sasyamiva Jayate Punaha. Like corn, which is born out of a field, is eaten and digested, it disappears. Or a field of corn, which is harvested after it is matured. So it is there today, it is not there tomorrow. That is all the truth of life is. Our ancestors were there, they are not there today. Today our contemporaries are there, they will not be there tomorrow. Life is so fragile, it comes and goes. So try to observe how did they behave in the past and how others who are around us are behaving. Are we really living up to the standard of good rishis? 
are we keeping up the, the name and the words and the deeds of our forefathers is this behavior on your part appropriate this is the thought process of nachiketa who says look around we are born like a corn in a corn field and we die we are eaten up and we fin- finish tomorrow we don't exist forever so why do you get attached to these cows and these cattle and you are doing this cheating and dishonest donations don't you do that it's not right because our forefathers have not done such kind of work nor our contemporaries are behaving like this nor one should behave in the future because of watching us doing like this that is not set a bad example think of again he gives a small little lecture to his father and there ends the first part of the of the conversation between boy nachiketa and his father so he's so sincere i'm not the best donation yet my father is making a donation to yama i don't know whether i am doing the good thing and also he tells his father fine father you want me to go to yama i shall go but please think once what you are doing how our forefathers behaved how others are behaving around us and are we setting a bad example for the future to come be let us not behave this way anyway i'll go to yama as per your orders but nevertheless i want you to think about it see so sincere this fellow is and now what happens next vaishva nara pravishati atithi brahmano grihan so vaishva nara pravishatyati pravishati atithi brahmano grihan tasyai tam shanti kurvanti hara vaivas vatodakam idea is that when atithi comes to our house who is also a brahmana and vid- vidwan means he is knower of truth he comes to our home gruhan he is like fire coming to our home why it said because fire is very useful in old times fire was very important to do every ritual especially in the house of a householder agnihotras should go on so fire under limit is very useful you can cook food you can perform yagnyas and things like that but fire if it gets wild it can burn the whole house down because all were made of leaves and you know bamboo and things like that so fire is very dangerous if it goes out of control it becomes wild but it's very good when it comes and it is in a peaceful and a controlled state so the arrival of atithi who is a brahmin is like that if he is pleased with us he'll give us lot of boons because he has lot of knowledge and he'll teach us good things but suppose he is not treated well and gets upset he may even curse us or even if he does not curse us the very fact that we have not treated an brahman atithi well will bring upon us lot of calamities so from that point of view this shloka is been said is the narrator who is kind of saying this or the person who is in yama's house his wives or his assistants are telling to yama that if a brahmin atithi comes to your house he comes like a big fire tasye tam shanti kurvanti therefore first you have to go and make him peaceful like fire has to be quenched by pouring water on it so take hara vaivasvat odakam vaivasvata is yama udakam means water take water and go for this little brahmin boy has been waiting for 3 days because he is a brahmin atithi we should treat him well for not doing which he can be very dangerous so little upanishad goes takes another shloka extra to explain how we should treat our brahmin guests brahmin not from the point of view of caste now but from the point of view of those who are intelligent those who are knowledgeable wise people we must behave well with them we must take good care of them asha pratikshe sangatam sunrutam chesta purte putra pashunsh sarvan एतद्वृंते पुरुषस्यालपमेदसो यस्यान श्वनस वसति ब्राह्मणो गृहे आशा प्रतीक्षे मींस व्हाट एवर वी डिजायर फॉर व्हाट एवर वी वेट फॉर इन आवर लाइफ टू गेट संगतम सूनृताम बाय द कंपनी ऑफ दीस पीपल द ब्राह्मण गेस्ट हु हैव अराइज in a house of such a person who has lot of desires and ambitions everybody wants something good to happen cheshta purte whatever we want to ishta apurta two things that people used to desire for ishta is the yagnyas that we do and purta are the all the 
uh, social work that we do like digging wells and building shelter homes and things like on roadside these were all duties of a householder in those times what all duties ishta that is to perform the yagni yagas and derive fruits out of them and purta which is to build uh, things of public service so all these and putra pashushcha sarvan these are all things that one desires for putra sons because they can continue the lineage and continue to perform the yagnyas and pashus cha all the cattle that we need as prosperity all these are generally expected and people are attached to but what happen etad vrunte these are discarded away these are thrown away or these are been removed from whom purusha alpa medaso that purusha that person who has of little intelligence he loses all these things why because in his house some brahmin who lives in their house without eating bahmi is hungry in such a person's house all these good things that he desires for ishta purte putra pashush sarvan all the good things are taken away vrinte why because of his poor intelligence he did not look after the brahmin guest very well the brahmin had to stay hungry in his house and therefore he is not going to attain all these good things that he desires for so this is a shloka has been said more from the point of view to also send out a general message to the readers of katopanishad that this is the way one should treat a brahmin or a guest so now tisro ratri the idea is that three nights i told you that he was waiting for how many nights three nights so yad vatsi grahe me anashnan brahman atithir namasya what is saying you have stayed in my host house three nights without eating and therefore you are a brahman atithi i bow down to you namasya i bow down to you again he bows down says namaste astu brahman swasti me astu tasmat prati trin varan vrinishwa you have stayed in my home three nights without eating i bow down to you please don't be angry with me please bless me swasti me astu that good happened to us and what else he says therefore as a compensation for the trouble that you have undertaken of waiting for me for three nights ask me for three boons that is the idea and then the boons start and how this little boy the most important part of the today's part is you have to observe is that he is such a sincere fellow shraddhavan labate gyanam krishna says in bhagavad gita the one who has shraddha alone is entitled for knowledge ashraddhavan no and what is shraddha as per shankaracharya he says शास्त्रस्य गुरुवाक्यस्य सत्वबुद्धि अवधारणम इन शास्त्रास द स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड इन द गुरुवाक्य व्हाट एवर द गुरु टेल्स हुएवर हैज सत्वबुद्धि प्योर माइंडेडनेस हु बिलीव्स इन दैट सच अ पर्सन इज कॉल्ड श्रद्धावान शास्त्रस्य टुडे सो मेनी पीपल डोंट बिलीव दिस स्क्रिप्चर्स दे थिंक इट्स सम कॉक एंड बुल स्टोरी written in some time nobody knows no wrote when it was written how it was written well, how is it relevant today we ask questions like this so such people don't have shraddha they cannot attain this wisdom and then guru vakya says if guru says something then you must be willing to listen and believe and follow these two are the definitions of shraddha so we have heard that this boy was what shraddha avivesha so manyata he became overcome by shraddha when he saw his father giving donations like this he was overcome by shraddha and then who went and spoke to his father let us not do something wrong how many of us see things going wrong people doing wrong things but how many of us go over and correct that or take the courage to correct that not wanting to get into bad books not wanting to create enmity not wanting to be commented upon or being ostracized we continue to live with the same wrong people without questioning anything that is the plight of the society here today when swami ji from ramakrishna order had come he is the vice chancellor of the ramakrishna uh, vivekananda university based on of belur mat he had come here he is an iit he was who studied in iit he has many phd's to his credit and uh, he was telling that the problem of the world is not that there are the the good people are uh, not there but the problem is that good people are not as courageous as the bad people 
the bad people have all the courage to do bad the good people don't have the courage to do good and that is where the problem of the society is little poor nachiketa sees his father doing wrong shraddha avivesha he is overcome by this shraddha that shastra vakya is not following the rich, correct way of the rituals that has been told by our shastras or guru vakya also maybe he has also learned from his father fathers were the gurus on those days but he is also not following he is coming from a great lineage uddalaka aruni vajashrava that is his lineage yet he is not behaving according to it even though he is my father even i know he may get upset with me yet i must speak up i must set things right that is my duty that is my dharma and that dharma is given to me because of my shraddha in scriptures and gurus how important it is for a student you think from students point of view there are rules regulations there are behavior conduct moral codes of conduct moral social these are shastras people have told us how to do how not to do things how to behave how not to behave whether it's your home hostel or society at large but when we see things going wrong first of all we should not do wrong and when we see things going wrong doing people doing wrong if we just sit quiet we are equally a part of that wrong doing and that is where the problem in the society at large is today we don't have nachiketas who get up and question things who are not who are willing to take whatever comes out of it good or bad because they have done their duty out of shraddha we don't have nachiketas today that's the reason why society is going where it is going something goes wrong you look the other way none of my problem is not as long as it is not happening to me let me not bother so in be as rest assured when it happens to you finally others won't bother too india came under con- continuous attacks and innovations why not because we didn't have enough strength but we were all divided when some enemy attacked another uh, uh, kingdom we said it has not come to our kingdom when it fire comes to our house then we will get up and do something about it this idea is not vasudeva kutumbakam idea vasudeva kutumbakam is when we feel for each other and care for each other and if something is being done wrong to somebody or if somebody is doing wrong to someone someone we get up and try to stop it try to resist it with whatever might we have we may succeed we may not succeed that's a different story but doing is in our hands so we should have the spine to stand up and do something about it when so many things are going wrong i am not saying you get up and give a lecture to them nachiketa could give a lecture to his father because he was right at home but are there are several other ways of setting things right when children don't get education they don't get health facilities orphans are left to themselves society's moral and social values are continuously declining an educational institution a gurukulam like this is an answer to those questions why is this gurukulam being set up shraddha vivesha out of shraddha only it is being set up to set things right in the society we may not be able to go right and lecture everybody or catch a thief and put in the jail that is the job of the law and order people but as other citizens of the society do we have a role to play or should we just look the other way and close our eyes and think everything is fine that is where we go wrong but nachiketa is not like that he is ready to call spade a spade axe an axe whatever and he goes up to his father and asks why are you doing this please think twice is this the right behavior at least that much he is doing because father owned this fellow he kicked him out saying go to hell nevertheless he went to hell and that also he turned the adversity into an opportunity that is nachiketa when he was thrown away he had turned the adversity also into opportunity so that is also a great lesson from nachiketa how to convert all our adversities in life into opportunities to learn grow and improve om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunaktu sahaviyam karavavahai ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿತ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ